Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jason Carthen, and you know what, when I think about just the impact uh, that Antoine is having, uh, it's amazing. You know, it's just a little bit about me. I've had the opportunity to engage uh, with the, the White House, uh, billion dollar companies, and one thing that I see taking place is that Antoine gets it at a grassroots level. You know, he wants to do something for the community that's going to have lasting change, It's going to have impact. And it's more than just the athletics. When he was telling me about the idea of building in teamwork and character and responsibility and just the long-term objectives, I said, this is something that more people need to hear about. They have to be intentional with their understanding of what it's gonna look like. Too many times in society, we see all the negative information that's being put forth, but Antoine is trying to do something to change the current of that. Some of the programs that he has shared with me really intrigued me. Just the idea of not only building communication and the idea of building character with young people, you know that it's gonna have a lasting impact. So I think at the end of the day, when we begin to think about what JLT is trying to do with the Innovation Academy and their new facility that they hope to really achieve uh, connectivity with in the community, I said to myself, wow, this is something that really needs to take hold because if we're gonna do anything different in society, if we're gonna really have lasting change to develop people and make sure that the next generation of leaders is gonna be equipped to do what they need to do, we need more people like Antoine. We need more programs that are actual programs that are gonna help people to move forward and change behaviors. Change not only behaviors, but communities because at a grassroots level, that's what they're doing here at JLT Fieldhouse. So if you think about how can I get involved, maybe I don't want to do some of the things that would require me to come out and coach, or maybe you didn't play sports and you don't know how to do basketball. You can get involved by doing things with JLT. You can fund, you can help, you can volunteer. And we always want you to be able to support financially at the end of the day. If you haven't seen the GoFundMe page, Go take a look. It's a lot of great information there. It's one of those things where if you're trying to understand why you want to get involved with something, that page will show you quite a bit. And we'd love to have your support. For that reason, I want to vigorously endorse what JLT Fieldhouse is doing. And I also want to ask everyone to get involved uh, from a community standpoint, from a corporation standpoint, but then also at an individual standpoint. Because if we're truly going to have lasting change, it's going to take each one of you to really embrace what they're doing here. It's not just someone like me. Sure, I played in the National Football League. I've had a lot of success, all these different things. But at the end of the day, those people that are on the ground doing things that are gonna have lasting impact, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's why I think today, make the decision to get behind what they're trying to do with the Innovation Academy. This is something that if you want to see impact, this is where it starts. There's no excuse. There's no reason why you don't want to get involved. Thank you so much for listening. Take care now. You know, it's so interesting. You know, when I met Antoine a couple of years ago, I was excited about the opportunity because of what he shared with me. And then I realized, Dr. Jason, so happy to have you here. You know, we've talked a lot, but the one thing I didn't mention to you, I played football myself. No, he didn't. Oh, no, yeah. he didn't. No, he didn't. I was a wide receiver in high school. You know what my nickname was? What was the nickname? Lynn Twan. Lynn Twan. Lynn oh, Twan. my. Like Lynn Swan? You got it, my man. Oh, my goodness. I hate to break this to you, but I'm a big fan of the black and gold. You know what? I could really say a couple of things about the Steelers, but, you know, it really wouldn't matter too. because no, I, I played for the Patriots. Yeah. So... <laughs> And it's I want all to show good. some respect because your family's here. <laughs> all right, so fair enough. Be nice about that. We really do appreciate you coming and doing this for us. It's absolutely phenomenal. My privilege, man. Yeah, My honor. Thanks for having me. Oh, glad to have you.